Gloria said he got into amateur wrestling as a young kid, but once he put on the boxing gloves, he felt. What the sport? Justin Villoria, pamangkin ng Filipino-American at former two-division world champion na si Brian Villoria. Brian Villoria? You're, that's your uncle? Yeah. Are you ready to spar? Hinasa sa sports na boxing noong walong taong gulang pa lamang. At nang dumating ang labing walong taong gulang taong 2023, ay pinasok na niya ang professional boxing. At kasalukuyang may undefeated record na. 6 wins with 4 knockouts. May tangkad na 5-9. Isang kaliwete. At lumalaban sa super featherweight division o 130 pounds Sa isa sa mga naging interview niya ay ipinakita niya ang kanyang mga kamao na kung saan ay kapansin-pansin ang hindi pangkaraniwang laki nito Sa video na ito ay babalikan natin ang pangalawang laban niya bilang professional boxer na kung saan ay nakalaban niya dito ang pambato ng Colombia na si Pedro Pinillo sa isang 6 round bout sa super featherweight division panoorin po natin ang kanilang naging bakbakan const in the super featherweight de Vivaloria in the white trunks the black gloves native of Whittier California of course both his father uncle in fact both sides of his family coming from Hawaii left hand already got through for Valoria where he got his head off the center line going at the same time as Pio and he got through <coughs> Gloria putting on the pressure early. 18 years old, as we mentioned, but we talked to him this week. Despite just one pro bout up to this point, the confidence is there. Let's see how we can do against a veteran himself in Pinillo. For a minute, they're just standing in front of each other, trading here a little bit. It is the Valoria family Good. style. Here. Some trunk movement from Pinillo to draw out some of the attacks there from Valoria. By the way, her hand got through for Pini Joe, and there's a couple of lefts kind of strafing over the top as well. This fight largely being contested in, in the center of the ring as both fighters digging in. Good right hook to the body there from Valoria. Oh, left hand may have hurt Pinillo. Pinillo heavy on that front leg, just kind of leaning into some of these punches. Not, I would say not enough defense for that stance to be the appropriate choice here. And he eats two uppercuts for it right on cue. Pinillo, just 22 years old, out of Ali, Colombia. See if he can make it out of the first round here. It gets a very aggressive Justin Valoria. Good luck in and the right on the comp to briefly stagger Pinillo, who does seem to have his legs on him. Barely. Lovely aggression early on here. Yeah, these guys are, I mean, this is a sprint from the first round. I realize it's not a long fight with only two rounds, but the pace here has been significant. Our first of three bouts here on the Showtime Boxing Countdown Show. The Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas is the venue. You see Justin Valoria in the white trunks. Just, there just isn't nearly enough offensive responsibility from Benil. You can see him leaning over like that. Hands are still down. He doesn't have a high guard. Uh, it'd be one thing if he were presenting the target and then removing it with significant head or trunk or shoulder movement, but he's just really not. Showing a ton of respect for the punching Benil as they landed hard hooks at the same time. Good first round in terms of feeling each other out and getting into the action. Or, ooh. Stiff jabs Valoria as round one. His uncle, Brian Valoria, someone we know very well in the boxing game, retired into Valoria. And Pedro Panillo in the red trunks, Panillo. Five and one record, Alejandro Garcia. Well, they're starting to just play tag here. Counter right hands from Valoria, not afraid to feel the power. Right, right away, Valoria is getting a better clear sense of range, putting Pinillo at the end of his for him. And you can see him kind of roll a little bit when the right hand comes through. Two to three points behind. He was aware of the lost, uh, it is what it was. Was his Yeah, Valoria gets out of the way. Some of the straight punches are having some effect getting through. Left is a chin from another one. Unloading with round two. Boy, I gotta tell you, Valoria doing definitely his best work. He can get Pinijo right up against the ropes where he's got him now. This is, glove may have touched the canvas. Referee Thomas Taylor allowing the action to continue. And they are throwing punches here. Good body shots from Pinillo, trying to answer back with our cuts. Yeah, I just don't like this style for him. He's having much better success with linear punches combined with movement, right? Right, you see him rolling. Usually if he can get his feet as well, changing angles, not staying in the same place. That actually has been pretty successful for him. But when he gets this, you know, phone booth fighting, head to head, chest almost, 
I just feel like Valoria, he, he appears to be the stronger of the two. Neil wasn't that concerned about Valoria's family name or history, saying, in, in the end, I do what I do at the ring, and it's up to Valoria to make those adjustments. I've really seen adjustments from Valoria. I've just seen full. He actually has a little bit more success. You know, in fairness, Valoria, again, again this isn't a relatively small. Early challenges would be difficult. <laughs> Valoria, the aggressor early on with that jab. Good counter dots, though, by Panillo, and a left over the top slip through. That left hook is money. A more worthy adversary than perhaps Valoria was expecting. When we spoke to Valoria, he would definitely fully recognize the threat. Valoria had grown up in Whittier, California. He said he was no, who, of course, has backgrounds in all disciplines of combat sports, including boxing, where he's putting time in the water. Freddie Roach in Los Angeles. Oh, but iron sharpening iron in the uh, neighborhood pickup games there. Aaron, one point called the biggest prospect in the kid pro fight. Well, I'll tell you what on Valoria. He's well balanced, right? He kind of have to catch himself as he rolls or he throws. There's some questions about that low right hand at times, as well as the lack of head or trunk movement. Good right hand, good getting in between the punches of Benio. Fast. Good right hand. I think it when Valoria is throwing incarnation. First two don't get the ball. It's a game of consistency. It's consistency is what it... Well, the Panillo certainly in this fight, Luke. Well, I would say you're seeing some elements of it. It's a little smothered. He'd hook. I think when he was sitting things up off that jab, and again, I like body punching you see a little bit there. I definitely like the combination punching. I just like to see him start working the jab a little bit more. And it's, it's, it's landing. Here's it at the end of the round. You finally get to see a little bit. So this experience, this showing like it's a, uh, the, the lights being too bright for young... Getting back a jab, you see, and putting combinations together. Yeah, it looks to me like his corner told him to get back a jab between rounds. Gloria told us he felt after watching tape with Panilla, a lot of issues here. He was confident that his boxing skills and also his size would ultimately take over. Yeah, now he's starting to really cook. He had it right to the body and right over the top and back to back. That look at the lead right hook. Or Valoria is starting to do good work, especially when he's mixing it up with the jab. Again, also, Beast, where does he do his best work? Where do you see Panijo hurt the most? Right up against the ropes. Less than two minutes to go here in round four. It's largely been the... Valoria said he got into amateur wrestling as a young kid, but once he put on the boxing gloves, he felt... This was the direction his career would be headed, and he may have Panillo hurt here as he chips away with big power shots. Yeah, that's it. Referee. Matapos tamaan ng sunod-sunod na mga suntok mula kay Justin Villoria at makita ng referee na halos hindi na gumaganti ang Colombian boxer ay dito na inawat ang laban. Referee Thomas Taylor has seen enough. It'll go down as a fourth round TKO as 18-year-old Justin Villoria now two. To me, completely justified, BC. The nickname is... Panalo nga po si Justin Villoria via TKO sa round 2 pa lamang. This contest, the timing, right? Listening to his corner, the 